So no Schnapp, the actor who plays Will Byers in Stranger Things, as well as just the Stranger Things franchise right now is going through a lot of backlash. There's been a lot of controversy raised over the past couple of weeks, and I kind of wanted to make a video educating people about what's going on and what this could mean for Dead by Daylight and Stranger Things going forward. Hey everyone, Schmuckles. Today we're going to talk about the Noah Schnapp controversy that's really hurting the image of Will Byers and just the Stranger Things franchise as a whole. Noah Schnapp is kind of getting canceled on social media, and I wanted to do a video covering this controversy. In my opinion, this could really hurt his chances of ever becoming a character in Dead by Daylight. The controversy and Noah Schnapp taking a stance on things in the Middle East has kind of hurt his image, hurt the Stranger Things franchise, and people want him recast in Season 5 of Stranger Things. This is not a political podcast, so I'm not going to tell you how to think about the problems going on in Israel and Palestine. In general, myself and the large majority of people out there kind of like to advocate for just non-violence against innocent civilians in general, and Noah Schnapp kind of did something that was making people question as to whether or not he was advocating for that as well. The Israel-Palestine conflict is something that's been going on for so long. Depending on which source you go to, there are different versions of the narrative that's happening right now. So I would advise you to do your own research on this information. What I can say is that it's pretty much confirmed by a lot of different sources that innocent people are dying on both sides. There's been innocent men, women, and children brutally killed on both sides. And it really is horrific stuff. This video is going to kind of cover what Noah Schnapp said about it and then what people are responding, what people are saying to him. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want news stories like this recommended to you by YouTube. I'm also live on Twitch right now streaming Dead by Daylight, link for that in the description below. Israel is home to a large portion of the Jewish community, so Jewish Americans in the US have been affected by this as well. One of the Jewish Americans affected by this is Noah Schnapp, who has been taking public stances on this. Apparently, Noah Schnapp has been cancelled a couple times in the past couple of weeks. Noah Schnapp suffers big blow after Zionism is sexy video. Schnapp is facing cancellation calls for the second time in recent weeks over his support for Israel, hemorrhaging followers on social media. An initial statement by the Jewish American actor on the Israel Hamas conflict, which included the words you either stand with Israel or you stand with terrorism, caused furor. On Monday, the 19 year old was blasted for the second time after posing with stickers that read Zionism is sexy and Hamas is ISIS on social media. Zionism as defined in the dictionary is an international movement originally for the establishment of a Jewish national or religious community in Palestine and later for the support of modern Israel. These posts and stances by Schnapp have led to Stranger Things losing fans on social media. According to the analytics website Social Blade, Snap has lost about half a million Instagram followers in just a month, along with more than 11,000 on X. The new information that I see right here that I didn't see before is that the people in Palestine, roughly two-thirds of the Gaza Strip's 2.3 million population, have fled their homes to avoid fighting. So Israel is hitting Palestine back very hard right now, and a lot of civilians are evacuating, and 11,000 Palestinians have been killed. On October 11th, Snap shared a statement on Instagram which read, as a Jewish American, I am afraid, afraid for my brothers and sisters in Israel, who have been senselessly attacked by Hamas. I'm truly heartbroken to see the brutal murders of innocent children, women, and soldiers fighting to defend themselves. And he's talking about the initial attack of Hamas on Israel. However, this statement also included the line, you either stand with Israel or you stand with terrorism causing an uproar. This is the full post that was on Instagram that Noah Schnapp posted. And as you can see, it's four pages long. So what I just read to you is part of the response or part of what he wrote, but not everything. But I think this does really summarize the gist of Noah's stance on this and how it affects him as a Jewish American. So October 11th, Noah Schnapp posts this on Instagram and he got a lot of backlash as well as the Stranger Things franchise too. In the more recent past, Noah posted this video that's gone viral on Twitter. This is the video in question right here. Noah's with his friends and as you can see, they have stickers that say Zionism is sexy and Hamas is ISIS. And he really is receiving even more backlash from releasing this video and taking a stance. And now there's a viral Stranger Things boycott that begins. Thousands no longer willing to support the show. Some of the fans want the show to remove a character and it seems that it is in the production that is attempting to show loyalty to their cast. No Schnapp, who plays Will Byers, is being asked by fans to leave the show. And there's been a lot of really viral responses to Stranger Things announcing that they're going to be expecting to be filming in a couple of weeks. Reminder that you should be boycotting Stranger Things with that racist and Islamophobic dickhead Noah Schnapp in it. It fills me with so much rage how Palestinian public figures have to be so careful with their words in support of their own people. But Noah Schnapp continuously spreads misinformation, propaganda, and disrespects people who are suffering literal genocide without any consequences. So the reason people are kind of canceling Noah Schnapp over this video is because despite his roots to the Jewish community in Israel, Israel invading Palestine and brutally killing innocent civilians is kind of what it seems like he's advocating for here. Both sides are hitting each other pretty hard. On both sides, there's horrific footage of men, women, and children being killed in a brutal way. And so for Noah Schnapp to kind of post a video like this of this stature, given everything that's going on, is kind of what people are canceling him for. So PopBase made a post about this and it's got 66 million views. And I kind of just want to go over the comments and you can kind of see like 
how harshly he's being canceled right now. We're just going to kind of go through some of the comments here. So this comment says, this guy alone is taking my interest off of Stranger Things, which I liked a lot. And this is actually a comment that's been copied and pasted all over this Twitter forum. Like people are just copying these exact words and pasting them if they feel that way. This exact phrase word for word is kind of all over this post. This response to the thread here, which has 40,000 likes, says not even surprised anymore. He just wants his career to be over at this point. He's so open about this. It's actually concerning and scary. He needs to stop. Seeing how rich people with huge smiles on their faces as they support a genocide from the comfort of a cute little coffee shop is disgusting. Why isn't he talking about how he was afraid for his life? He looks very happy and safe to me. This person said he should count his days with a picture of an Instagram story that says, are you ready to die Noah Schnapp so that is like borderline a death threat to Noah Schnapp his career is going to be small supporting roles for a few years before it fizzles out completely people like him do not deserve success at the expense of millions of people imagine openly supporting a genocide that's taken the lives of thousands of children twice yeah I will not be watching the rest of Stranger Things every time I see something about Noah it gets worse and worse okay this is getting out of hand this kid needs to stop he has no sympathy at all if this guy isn't canceled by today the world should just give up Noah Schnapp speed running his own career and you love to see it. It's literally thousands and thousands of comments all over every single post on all of his social medias. I think he locked down his Instagram and his Twitter has posts from like a long time ago that people are commenting about this on without a statement, apology, or him explicitly saying, I don't really support the violence against innocent civilians. I mean, based on these comments, it looks like there's almost no way back for this guy. Based on how much he's being canceled here, it makes me wonder if the Duffer brothers are going to take any action for season five of Stranger Things, whether that'd be recasting the character or just making him have a smaller role. I'm just saying all of these comments that are kind of canceling him are kind of following him wherever he goes. I don't know if people would ever forget about something like this or if him apologizing would make it any better. We suspect that Eleven could be the new survivor for the chapter 30.5 survivor paragraph. And if there's a bundle of new skins coming into Dead by Daylight, do you think that would hurt Will Byers' chance of ever becoming a survivor in the game? Or if he was lined up to be a skin in the game, whether that be in chapter 30.5 or in the future, do you think Behavior would reconsider their stance on bringing him in to Dead by Daylight? He has received so much backlash and people are saying that they want him to be recasted in the next season of Stranger Things. Now that Stranger Things has returned into Dead by Daylight, we could potentially see new skins in the future. Given this controversy, would you be okay with Will Byers coming to Dead by Daylight? Do you think there's now too much controversy surrounding Noah for it to be possible? Because this is a Dead by Daylight new content discussion channel. And even if this controversy isn't the easiest discussion to have, it's something that I think we should address. I think we should be able to have a conversation about it. Noah has pretty clearly taken stances against Palestine. He was under fire at one point recently for liking a post mocking Muslims and queers. So people were calling Noah homophobic. And actually earlier this year, Noah Schnapp came out as gay on TikTok. So there really is a lot of mixed perceptions of this situation. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. Do you think this would affect Will Byers' chance of coming into Dead by Daylight? Could you see Behavior Interactive actually actively deciding not to bring a Will Byers skin in because of this controversy? We'll definitely follow the situation as well as the Stranger Things boycott that's allegedly going to happen. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want news videos like this recommended to you by YouTube. That does it for this video. Goodbye.